Hello, welcome to Ekidel, we are with Film Future Civil and Structural Engineer. My name is Justice Mwaka and I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to design an L column in product structure. Okay, so looking at the, my screen now, you can see that what I have here is an L shape um, column and this is a reinforced concrete um, column and all that. Most people find it difficult to design an L column in product structure and even in manual because it tends to be a little difficult. Okay, so I'll be showing you right now how to design this in this software product structure. So before we begin, the structure I'm, I'm using here, which you're seeing here right now, is a live project and it's for a client in Canada. The reason why I will not say much about the project is because we have not gotten any permission from the client to use this structure to teach younger engineers on how to design um, this kind of structure because basically this structure you are, you are seeing here has a seismic design knowing that Canada has um, earthquake effects and all that and also it also has a very high wind speed knowing that some part of Canada has a very high wind speed and all that and also this also this building has some special features as you can see that it only has column from this from the from the ground floor down to the third floor now once after the third floor you don't have columns again t up to the 12th floor it's basically a, a high rise building so looking at this right you can see that what we have are reinforced walls and a very mass slabs these slabs you're seeing here are more than 12 meters by 12 meters that's because we are trying to use a precast slab okay okay then so but on today's video i'll be showing you only how to um design an l column as you can see i have an l column this place you are seeing here is an l column and as you can see it is failing basically i'm doing an interactive design for this project so you can see that i have already done most of them and all that so on trying to do for this column i think that it will be nice to um show you guys how to um design an l column because basically if you have an l column on your structure except it's just a one-story building if it's a high-rise building that column will fail because you have to um you are you are meant to set the columns okay and so sorry to to set how the reinforcement are going to be arranged so with that now as you can see this column here is failing okay so right now i'm going to um show you now how to now arrange that to now do that now i will then come here and click on this column here right click on the column that is failing here and then um wait for it then come here and do what click on what section design now on doing that now I will then wait for it to now display the dialog box for column interactive design. Now on this stage now, I will then come here. Now you can see that the U ratio is low. Yes. Now most people, I have heard some most people say that if your U ratio is um, lower than 1.0, that you can ignore any kind of failure. That's the worst thing you can ever do in your life. So even if the U ratio is low, you must have to check out for the design first and see if the design is okay or not. So let's see why that column was showing red, knowing that red means failure and green means okay. So that column which you're working on now was showing red. Let's see why it was showing um, red, okay? That's fine so you can see the reason why it's showing red it says section bars limit exceeded number of bars must be increased that's because the bars are not well arranged when it comes to um, for l-shaped column you must have to arrange your reinforcement very well so that you can be able to carry or so that the load can be evenly be what distributed along all the corners of the column so with this now i would then say okay and then come here now that says what reba layout now you can see that if it is in other type of column that is not an l-shaped column you would have seen here that says what reselect t bar but because this is an l-shaped column you can see that it is now uh, it has changed to what uh, reba layout that's because they wanted to arrange what how your reinforcement are meant to be arranged on this l-shaped column okay that's fine now also on on, on an l-shaped column you won't be able to change your length of column or your width of columns and all that that's because during the modeling you have already um, done all that 
so once you are done modeling your L column you won't be able to do what change it again during the design so what you just do now if it is failing you have to go and use the reinforcement arrangement and the reinforcement size to now make it the pass except you didn't choose a right size on your on your uh, when you're doing your modeling then you now have to go back to your modeling stage and then go and change the size okay but in this case this is the size that was actually uh, that is meant to be fit in in the in, in that place you're seeing there so with this now since it's failing i'll have to do what click on this place that says what rebar layout okay now on clicking on rebar layout now the next thing now you can see that there, there are no reinforcements showing that's because i have not yet arranged how my reinforcements are going to be placed okay so with that now there are several methods of inserting your bars but the best i will tell you to do is to do what is to use what automatic um, bar containment so with this now i'll then click on this place here that says what containment bar here now when i now come to this place now the next thing i'll do right now you can see that they are showing you how your bar how you want to arrange your bars okay so in this case now in this kind of uh in let me just keep this here in this case now i want my bars to because basically this is the width this column has a width of what 300 so in that case i want one bar here and one bar here and i want one bar at the middle and one bar here hold tight with a link okay and again one bar here one bar here tied with a link okay and again one bar one bar one bar one bar and one bar and one bar so with that now i will then come here and then come and say what corner bars to be what one that's fine and i want a bar at this end which is the end one okay and then i'll come now at the i want a bar at the m4 yes which is which is at the at the span i will then come here and add what i add bar here i don't want a bar here i don't want to have a tree and here tree i don't want that and this blade i don't want that too so i'll just add these two bars here and then i want to make my diameter of bar to be what 25 that's because this structure is a sense design like i said before there's a life project i'm working on for a client in canada so right now i'll then come here and then choose this also 25 here okay sorry don't just um it's okay come here now 25 come here now 25 that's fine so on doing this now i will then come now and then click on what um okay here okay so you can now see how my bars now are now being arranged so you can see how the bars now and are now arranged this is how you are meant to arrange your l um your your l column reinforcements but there is still a case where you can add one, one more bar here one more bar here one bar here and one bar here okay so with this now i will then come and do what click on what um okay here now that that you have click okay doesn't mean that it has designed for no you can see that it is still showing here what it is showing here that column not designed so what we have just done is do is to do what arrange our bars so now i will then head on to go and do what design for my column okay to see if how i if if the bar sizes and how i arrange the bar will be able to carry all the forces or the actions or the load on that column okay so with that now i will then come here and do what click on what interactive design here okay so with this now let's just hold on for that to display the warning or to show us if our if if our column is sufficient or not okay that's fine so with this now you can now see that it's showing what here okay and then you can also see your what uh, our what our bars and reinforcement from the previous time it was showing what failure that it, that that the bar size or session size must do what increase okay that sorry that the number of bars must do what increase but right now you cannot see that it is not showing what the designed what reinforcement and the area of steel what required okay so with this now i will then come here and then say okay and then come to this top here i can see that everything now looks okay you can also see that the area of um this u ratio also has, has also reduced compared to before you can see that everything also is also okay i will then come now and then do what click on what okay here and then this is the column we just worked on right now it, it will still be showing red so what you now do is do what click outside right now right click now and then you have to do what update steel bars okay so when, so 
whenever you make changes and then you just update the bars and all that then you now see that it will now show green okay so you can see that we have not designed for what for this column here okay so i will check for all the column that was how i checked from the base here down to this very floor here on the other side i also do the same thing here right now so this is just to show you guys how to do this okay so this video will not take time because i, I i'm currently working on this project and this project is meant to um have a review with, with, with the client by um tomorrow being monday so but i just think that it will be nice to show you how to do this okay in the in, in the nearest future i can do a full um training on just l colon alone and also t um columns okay but for now this is the actual way to um do that okay so for for those of you having issues on that uh, you have not seen how to now resolve that issue okay that's fine now if you have not um subscribed to our channel i would like you to do what give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel okay and also call your friends and colleagues to also know what they're doing here on ekidel we we'll love you and um bye for now okay now before you go there will be a course um video on sense me design by this end of the month so when once you are done with the course video and then upload it to our online store i'll have to um, um tell you and all that okay but for now you can, you can also check out on our online stores um following on on the link on our bio on on or on our about page then you can be able to um purchase all the courses you want to purchase and everything you want to purchase too like stone beach templates and everything and also if you want to know, also know how to design complex structures i would like you to do what enroll for our ekidel mentorship board training bye for now then bye